It's another exciting week in the city of Moreton Bay. There is so much happening and it's such a beautiful time of year. Has anyone noticed that nice crispness to the morning air this week? Well, we're certainly moving into winter and while we might find it a little bit chilly, I know all those southerners around Australia certainly won't. My auntie and uncle have been here this week and they think it's hilarious how I'm rugged up and I've got stockings on and even the fire at night, they certainly are not feeling that cold. So this is our best time to hit that consumer audience and show them how beautiful our region is. So this week happening across the Moreton Bay and some of the things that you can get involved with. First up, we've got Pride Fest. Pride Fest is taking place this Saturday at Pine Rivers Park. This is the second Pride Fest event and it's going to be extraordinary. The feedback we have received from last year's event was that it is one of the best Pride events in Australia. That's pretty big kudos given it's only in its second year this year. So please come along, tickets are still available. If you can't come, make sure you tell 10 friends to come. Uh, we appreciate all the support. Second to that, if you love Pride Fest, please vote for it in the Pride competition. All the details are in this newsletter, so check it out and make sure you place your vote. Not sure if you can, but if you have multiple emails, use multiple emails. Uh, then on Sunday, really big weekend, Saturday also marks the launch of Wales here in the Moreton Bay region. So whale season is kicking off this Saturday. Brisbane whale watching will be departing from Redcliffe Jetty to celebrate that beautiful time of year that not only marks winter, but marks the whales coming to play. To celebrate that and to hopefully put us on a national, if not state platform, we've got a whole raft of activities coming up. So Sunday Weekender, Channel 7's Weekender is going to be filming. Um, it's a bit of a destination piece with the hook of whale We've done a few of these weekenders over the last six months. So if you remember, we did Bribey and Surrounds. We've done up in the hinterland. So this weekend we're filming Redcliffe and Surrounds. So that'll feature a number of operators that put their hand up and said, we want to be involved. That's really exciting and it will go to air in the next few weeks. Second to that, Sunday night, we've got the um, nightly news filming from down at Redcliffe Pier to be able to celebrate and promote the launch of whale season. And again, I'm sure they'll be tipping off to how good winter is here and then Monday morning. If you're an early bird, even if you're not an early bird, come join us down at Redcliffe Jetty from 5.30 a.m. We've got the amazing weatherman Tim Davies from Channel 9 and he is going to be broadcasting live throughout the entire segment of the weather to promote all things Moreton Bay. Now, we do our best to put forward a range of opportunities and ideas to them um, and the producers at the end of the day decide what they put to air. But there's going to be some really exciting crosses that we are promoting the wonderful, wonderful region we live in beautiful destination to visit. Um, but we also have something, a, a world first, I think it is, from AME Supercross. And if you haven't heard, there's a big event happening here later in the year, thanks to the city of Moreton Bay. So a couple of crosses will be dedicated to AME. If you can't come down there and join us, please come turn on your TV that morning and make sure you share all of the information so we can get as many people around Australia tuning in Monday, the 10th of June at 5.30 a.m. to watch this region come to life.